Jane Wells has the story from New Orleans. Restart, we have trust. 2016 is big for space. Blue Origin, a company owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos, just landed the same rocket a second time. Billionaire Elon Musk almost succeeded in landing one of his SpaceX rockets on a floating barge in high seas. These private space ventures by men with money are exciting and popular. Meantime, Boeing is quietly building something completely different, not for itself, but for NASA. The Space Launch System is the biggest, most powerful rocket uh, we've ever built. Three, two, one. The Space Launch System, or SLS, will someday take humans to Mars. If all goes according to plan and taxpayers keep willing to fund it, Boeing is building the rocket's core for NASA, which will stand 200 feet tall and measure nearly 28 feet wide. So 8.5 million pounds of thrust. That's 31 747s at full power. That's going to be the first version of this rocket. The first test flight is slated for 2018, and it could be crewed with humans around 2021. The SLS is being welded with a new system which cuts down on weight, and it's the first rocket to be pieced together vertically. What you're looking at is the largest welding system in the world. It's not cheap. NASA is spending $2 billion this year on SLS, and the program could cost nine times that. Well, why does NASA need to own this rocket? Why doesn't it just contract out to some private company's rocket, use theirs, like it's doing with cargo shipments to the space station? Well, no company's going to invest in building a rocket this big when NASA is the only customer. There's no commercial market for it yet. Here in the lab, we've got the rocket turned upside down. The hope is to do something incredibly expensive as inexpensively as possible. Boeing has decided that means combining new with old. The first SLS rockets will use solid rocket boosters and engines from the space shuttle days. Well, I would say that uh, there's a place for new things. Uh, there's also a place for proven, reliable things and things that we have in hand. Why reinvent the wheel if the wheel works? The good news for NASA, Americans are currently infatuated with space again. Congress has given the space agency more money than it asked for in 2016. Whether that support will continue over the next 20 years that it'll take to get to Mars is too far over the horizon to see. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells.